Every heartbreak, every loss, every adversity carries a seed. A seed that grows strength and resilience. On the night of April 18th of 2016, someone set our garage on fire. The heat was, was astounding. Within three and a half minutes, our deck was on fire and the back of the house was on fire. It was hot enough that it melted the gutters. The aluminum gutters were just like dripping like water. Caden has decided he's going to try to go save the house with the garden hose and got second degree burns all down his arm and on his neck. And I did that thing that you think, why would anybody be so stupid as to do that? And I completely did that. I ran back into a house that was on fire to try to save my animals. And we never did find them um, until after all the excitement was over. And then they kind of nonchalantly wandered out and was like, so uh, where's the food? <laughs> as it was, we lost uh, most of the kitchen. Like, of all the things to lose, considering our relationship with cooking and food, of all the rooms to lose access to, losing the kitchen, that was the, the most criminal thing that happened. My husband and I love to cook. Uh, we love to cook together. You have another bowl. Every relationship conspires to be a, a good team. Not without moving. If you can work together in the kitchen, you are a good team. When you feed someone, you are strengthening the tribe. It's how you grow people, it's how you grow friendships, it's how you grow society. Caden is one of the smartest, most creative, weirdest, most inventive people I have ever had the pleasure of knowing. If, if you added um, like liquid smoke to this, it would totally be burnt. We do not speak those words. I used to be an eccentric, colorful East Vancouver artist. Now I am a Midwestern housewife. He's from Canada. Yeah, maple syrup, beavers, hockey, single payer healthcare. Yeah, I love Canada. The first time we cooked together, she was up visiting for the first time in Vancouver and it was just magic. I don't know, it's hard to talk about it because it seems so mundane, I guess. You know, just cooking, it's just cooking, but to us it's, it's so much more. It's, it's creating and it's love and um, it's sharing our day with each other, so it's pretty awesome. When Kathleen first heard about the Ohio Signature Food Contest, it seemed like a great opportunity for budding food entrepreneurs. I heard about the contest in February or March, and the deadline was June. And I thought, yeah, that sounds like a cool thing. Um, we should totally enter that. And, and then we got a little distracted. We had a fire. Winning a contest was the last, literally the last thing on my mind. In the, in the aftermath of the fire. And I didn't find the email again until two days before the deadline. And I thought to myself, I will be damned if I let this fire take anything else away from me. So I'm just gonna enter and see what happens. About 10 days later, I got a phone call. Hello, this is Kathleen. No, you're kidding. And so I shrieked and jumped up and down. I had to explain to him, I said, oh, you don't understand how much we've been through. I said, this is the only good news I've had in like four months, so um, I'm thrilled. And then he said, okay, well, we'll just need 12 samples. <laughs> and I didn't have any mustard. I didn't have any ingredients for mustard. I didn't have a kitchen. <laughs> Somehow we managed it. With a fair amount of dedication to craft, but mostly pejorative and blasphemy. We just needed some good news, really desperately. And we got it exactly at the time that we needed it the most. It won. Go figure. 
And I'm still amazed. I'm still to this day amazed that Fireproof Corn Whiskey Mustard was the 2016 Ohio Signature Food. That's incredible. That's incredible to me. The contest provides food entrepreneurs with a pathway to commercial success. But for Kathleen and Caden, Easy Street was nowhere on the map. It's far more complicated than I ever dreamed possible. I mean, we have to register the mustard with the Food and Drug Administration. There's a bioterrorism registry <laughs> that it has to be added to. The costs just add up exponentially, <laughs> far beyond what we ever imagined. We just want to make mustard. <laughs> Honestly, I would have thrown in the towel a while ago just because, uh, yeah, we won, you know? We've got nothing more to prove, but uh, you do want to see it on the, on the shelf. You really do, and Kat is determined to do that. That determination would soon be put to the test. A critical part of their business plan was about to dry up and blow away. A major perk of winning the contest is access to a commercially licensed kitchen to jumpstart production. The Knock is the Northwest Ohio Cooperative Kitchen, and it's, it's a wonderful facility. It, we're so blessed to have access to it. The Knock is a facility where entrepreneurs can go and rent commercial kitchen space to make their products. So this is where your product will be made. It's incredible to kind of get the tour, and I can picture our product, you know, on that line. And it's just going to be so amazing when all of this work that we've put in over all of these months comes to fruition. I'd be lying if I didn't admit that there would be toasts conspicuously and enthusiastically consumed. I know it's such a horrible cliche, but I am so close I can almost taste it. Then, out of nowhere, the bottom dropped out of their most important business collaboration. We had a lot of problems with the people that we'd been working with to develop the product, which to this day remains an absolutely inexplicable event. We came up with a name for the product and I cleared it with them and they said, yes, that's fine, go ahead and use that name. And um, after we won the contest and after we had promoted it under that name for about six months, then I got a Facebook message that said we had to choose a new name. That dissolution impacted us at a very fundamental level. It's a very difficult thing to talk about, but it set us back time-wise, it set us back financially, um, and the impact on morale, yeah, we're feeling it. We still feel it. I'm still kind of sad about it, actually. Um, I'm still mystified as to how that all played out. Unfortunately, we're a few months behind where we thought we would be, but it's all gonna be fine. It, it is a, a cumulative character building experience and it just made us better as a couple. And being better as a couple is a very good objective. When you go into the kitchen with an idea, it doesn't always work out. That happens all the time. You get to the point where the recipe says it should be done and oh my God, something wrong. It could be the air pressure, it could be the humidity. So you have to figure out, like just using your taste buds and you figure out what actually needs to be there. And at that point in time, the whole recipe can take a, a sharp veer to the left and it turns into something else. And sometimes it's so much more spectacular than you could have imagined and you taste something and you think, nobody in the world has tasted anything like this before. And it's fantastic. And it's very creative, it's very inventive, and it's just a lot of fun. Having lived through everything I've gone through in the past year, it's given me a whole new definition of what adversity is. So, at this point, nothing is going to stop us. We are working on having a great life and we're going to have a great company. We have a great product. 
and it's going to happen no matter what. If you love Our Ohio Television, then you'll enjoy being an Our Ohio supporter. For just $25, you can enjoy Our Ohio Magazine, support Ohio food and farms, and stay connected to what's happening in your community. Visit supportourohio.org 